Um, I was just thinking about a scripture verse in the Bible that I had made a comment about um, a little bit ago. And uh, I'm going to try and paraphrase it because I can't quite remember it. But it's from John 5.37. And... Um, It is where Jesus says, no one has seen or heard God at any time, but the Son, the only one who is God himself, uh, has declared him to you, to the people. I understand this from a whole different angle now. The verse was not ever saying, or was never meant to say, that Jesus is the only Son, and that he is the only God uh, embodied. My interpretation, paraphrased from my own consciousness today, is what he meant to say is, no one has ever seen or heard God except the one that has realized himself to be one with God, as God. He is the one that can declare this truth. And that's why in another place Jesus also said that all that ever came before him were robbers and thieves. Why were they robbers and thieves? Because at that time, in that region, there was no one prior to Jesus that had this consciousness, this conscious awareness of oneness with God. So all the biblical writers that came before Jesus, they were inspired and wrote things based from their separation awareness to God. And that's why Jesus said they were thieves and robbers, because with their, with their religion, which is based in separation mentality, that we, are some, that we are separate from God, we're different from God, we don't have the awareness of equality with God, they could not speak from a consciousness of equality with God in the way Jesus did. And that's why in the New Testament, with Jesus' coming, we see this drastic shift of the God-man, the man that realized his Godhood. But our problem is we deified Jesus. We understood that to mean only Jesus was God. Only Jesus um, um, yeah, like I say, we thought only Jesus was the only manifestation of God, but that's not what Jesus said. What Jesus meant to bring is the message that all of you are God. All of you are in this oneness with God. And he who realizes himself to be God is the one that can make God manifest. Does it make sense? So, no. Jesus is not the only God. But at his time, he was the only one who realized himself to be God. Do you have the guts to realize yourself to be God like Jesus did? If you do, you can experience that oneness, and then you can truly manifest and reveal God to others. I hope that makes sense. Um, it's a very liberating and freeing truth. And